There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles. Said it before, and I'll say it again. When it comes to Rocket League, a strong mentality is one of the most important things that you can have. You can be the highestly skilled player on the pitch, but if your mental isn't up, you're not going to win. There is a difference between confidence and cockiness though. Each player decides for themselves where they draw that line. Today we're going to be talking about a player that pushed it further than most would be comfortable doing. Was his mentality the reason he got so far? Or did it hold him back? This is the true story of Arsenal. Uh, pops pass over the early dodge, rather. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> oh. He does not care about your shenanigans, j -Russ. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness, that's disgusting. For us to really answer this question, we have to take a step back. Let's go back to 2018. Unless Yummy starts saying something because he doesn't really give them much valuable information as a coach, so could hurt a little bit. Well, I got a question for you guys. You ready for some Rocket League? <laughs> level right now i think it all has to do with the hunger i mean these guys look up to players like justin and squishy muffins and they want to be there and when they finally get there it's time to get hype guys we have made it day three championship ship sunday we are crowning the title who's it gonna be tomorrow you play the number three team from europe is that going to be easy is it going to be free win versus dignitas yeah obviously free win <laughs> Okay, um, who's the better player? Me. Don't, don't lie. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna ask you one more time. <laughs> Who is the better player? Me. Let's ignore stats, okay? <laughs> Who does more for the team? Me. I'm gonna ask you one more time. <laughs> Who is the better player? Me. I'm gonna ask you one more time. <laughs> Who is the better player? Me. Pete. I'm gonna ask you one more time. <laughs> Who is the better player? That I beat you in me top two. Would be a fun series. But thank you. Thank you, Valentine. You can't go what wrong with this team right now. League play. When Shawset scores, they, get, they want to get possession back and AXP in time. Oh, that's another shot. No! <laughs> that was some of the worst rocket like I've seen <laughs> at this level. Have more, more of a chance because they dominate so much. Touches this little bit of space for Rebels. Here's Justin. He's got Garrett to the right. Garrett, another one off the back wall. Double touch for Garrett! Only five goals scored. Okay, so just taking the mechanics to sort of those good to sort this out very quickly. Another one would write this game off. Over across the net. To game six. Uh oh. Oh, the turbo. I don't know what that was. Let's go. It was RLCS Season 8 and Arsenal joins SSG along Sypical and AXB. They do exceptionally well. They finish in 3rd place for North America and qualify for the first World Championship. Arsenal did really well on LAN, literally musty flicking his way into the semi-finals. Game to Arsenal, 
Gets it off the crossbar. Stands up, pops off. He's feeling good. They're looking for the sweep. I mean, what and this is where he showed us how loud he can be. Fast forward to season nine. SSG was expected to do well, but... Harris officially hitting the US. COVID-19. RLCS 9 got canceled. Season 9 was canceled because the world was shut down. So we move on to RLCS X, an exclusively online season, meaning no international play would happen. Controversially, SSG made a roster change that many doubted would work. Arsenal, Rettles, and Civical. This pro team made me love RLCS. This was during the peak of my Rocket League career, and let me tell you, I would give almost anything to go back and watch these three play. Space Station Gaming, we have to talk about this team. They are by far the number one team right now in North America. This has to be Space Station's time. We got a player who many consider to be the best player in the world right now. We've got typical. That guy is a beast. If you see him on the field, he's going to hit double taps. He's going to go for flip resets. Space Station Gaming have got this one. They're going to the finals. They're going to win it. They're going to win the big one. It starts here. J Russ has to make a play. Misses his double. It goes bump. out the bump on the goal line, and typical scores. Going for control. Arsenal driving oh circles around the defense. Gets the overtime winner. J. Russ gets it out. Typical. Off the ceiling. Going for another hit. Backward pass. Oh, J. Russ the middle. The delay. Oh. The air dribble. Game set and match. Space Station are going to the semifinals. RLCS X was the longest RLCS season that we have ever seen. Like, seriously. COVID just refused to go away. SSG started off strong and beat the previous world champions, NRG, which meant they won the first major of RLCS. Let's go! Let's go! SSG kept popping off during the winter split, and they showed that together, as a team, they would have the confidence advantage. Rettles is on the line to talk about SSG's victory. Rettles, off the bat, congratulations. Thank you, Leaf. I appreciate it. We knew we were still like, the best team or had the potential to be the best team. We just weren't really grinding as hard as we needed to be. Uh, this time, we're not letting our foot off the pedal. We are going to be the best team in the world for the next uh, year or so. But then something happened that revealed how being more in touch with your emotional side can be dangerous. You're gonna miss me by my mom. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Boom, 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 boom. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he smacked his keyboard. I got you, Reddles. <laughs> He's of Arsenal, but it's a little too high. Turbo Pulse to challenge him. He picks up the boost. 138 left to go. And MB's got a lot of. Yeah. Nice, I got. Yeah. Got again. Yeah. Got mid lost. Oh, 50. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice. Good job. Tie it up immediately on the kickoff. No, no, I'm behind low. Yeah. Waiting, yeah. Just, just, I'm just, low back. I can't. I'll go actually. Okay, okay. As well. Over, over me. Yo. I need help. Fine. It's fine. Try to get back. Oh, he's going to be there. He's going to shoot. Oh, my God. Right. He's on it. Very good. Very good. All right. What? I can't. My whole game just DC. That, that was it. And Atomic knows it. I, my whole game DC. Right. I don't have. They get the chance oh, back on back overtime. Back overtime. Oh. And yes, he crushes Rettles on oh. the second chance. Can we get a restart for that? He DC'd. You just drove straight. Are you like. It's like. That actually never happened to me before. No way. Uh... Bro, everything, like, why am I this unlucky? Did they just, like, score right off of that? Yes, one? instantly. Like, it was a 1v1. See. And Tommy just slots the top corner. You can see by the clip, there's two major things that happen that I want to pay attention to. Immediately after the kickoff, as we go into OT, you can see before the counter even goes to one second and the kickoff even happens, you can see on the very bottom right with Sipical's camera, it goes black and it shows that he has disconnected in some capacity. Immediately after, you then see his car drive down in the middle of the field 
and it's unresponsive. After this all happened, there was essentially a 20 minute break on the broadcast. It was not short, legitimately about a 20 minute break that we went to a pause. They went to a screen with music and showed highlights. Uh, it was a pretty long break to make this call. When they come back from the call, what we ended up finding out that due to typical not being in a position to make a play on the ball, they have decided to progress forward, to which I bring this argument. This is a tweet by Cynical on Twitter that ends up showing the replay file of the actual kickoff. This is from the perspective of Cynical, and you can see him most definitely in a position to go and make a play on that ball. Anybody who plays Rocket League or has played Rocket League at a above average level would know that on this cheat up, typical without a doubt is in position to make a play. All he has to do is dodge to the left and he's there. And that's even without using any boost, any speed in any capacity. That is just basic acceleration. Clearly this provides a lot of frustration that the SSG team is unbelievably tilted and starts missing shots and not playing well. Envy takes the immediate next game and then SSG settles down and they come back to play. And the difficulty is not over yet. Once it gets to game seven, Envy ends up winning. And in the last few seconds, you can see Reddle's frustration of recognizing we're down by two. There's not enough time. I'm pissed off. I turn off my camera and I leave the match early, which is against the rules. It is clearly stated in the rules that you must stay until the end of the match. So then conversation starts happening that he's going to get fined because he did break the rules. And even though he is tilted, it is his job to play until the end because otherwise the stats screen gets messed up and everything else. But wait, there's more. We then finally get into the final progress of the game and we get to the very last game. And like I mentioned, Rettles leaves. He leaves early and there's a fine and everything else that comes with it. But of course, Rettles being frustrated and emotional decides to say this on another stream. You good? You good and everything? Yeah, I'm calling Shays an idiot for finding me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to like defend you on nah nah all right no nah, no nah. here we go here's here's the we have comms we have sip shadow play we have the we have our com, like our comms saying sips like i can't move i can't move the replay shows i'm going to 180 ping and packet lossing sonix then says that we didn't have proof that sip was lagging and then and then and then and then when we lose that game four and it goes three one sonix says yo sip send your files over and now shice is yamming me I go into the pro discord, not not very happy, obviously. And he says, who is this directed towards? Are they dumb? <laughs> Dude. First things first, you call one of the staff from RL Esports an idiot. Not a good idea. That sucked. Really sucked. Sathu had to fill in for Rettles after Rettles fine and suspension. And SSG didn't do well for the remainder of that winter split, and then the spring split. This was it for RLCS Season X. If you win this, you prove that you're the best in North America. And boy, did they want it. SSG made it all the way to the finals, but couldn't put up a good enough fight against the Season 8 World Champions, NRG. Normally, this is where RLCS teams decide to give up and disband, and Arsenal's future with SSG was uncertain. Sipical decided to leave SSG for bigger and better things, and SSG decided to sign Daniel, a 15-year-old who had never played in the pro scene before. Despite this being his rookie year, his mechanics would match perfectly with Arsenal's hype and Rettle's passive-aggressive playstyle. But this story isn't about Daniel. No, it's also not about Rettle's. It's about Arsenal. With international play being back, Arsenal was ready to be back and loud on land. Top of the morning, top of the morning. Alright, right, right, remember morning. guys, alright, this series, whenever we get scored on, we, 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 have to, we have to celebrate. When we score, guys, we, we can't celebrate. So no. cheat, do not get faked. Go straight for ball. Let's force for each other, okay? Uh, he's up. Tell each he, other to delay. Top left, it's top left, save it. Nice! Let's go! In the lower bracket quarterfinals, SSG went down 3-0 meaning that if they lost just one more game, they'd be out. And if they wanted a chance at a game seven, they would need to win the next three games in a row. And that they did. It came down to a game seven overtime. Whoever gets this next goal goes to LAN. I need help though, I need help. No more, no more. I got one. 
Get the corner if you can. Yeah, you. I got first. Calm down. Calm down. 50. I got more. I got more. I'm grabbing pads. Dan, you're last. You? To me? Come up. That's it, yeah. Give me a seat, open. We got it. Pop high. Can't, can't, can't. Got it. 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 He's finally black on land in the first time in the last three years, and he was ready to be loud. SSG was ready to win, but that wouldn't be easy. Hey, did you did you see did you see Reynolds almost crying when they lost the, the tiebreaker in the last split? They said never again. They qualified yeah. here. Last time I saw Reynolds at lands, he was standing on tables. Guy on. He's on. He's on. He's on. I got it. Can't. Yep. Playing a beat. Yeah. Get yep. out. Get out. I'm 30 done. seconds. I'm getting yeah, a corner. Definitely. I got the middle. I got, I got in the corner. Yeah. Time. Oh, thank you. Twenty seconds. Up one. I got it. I got it. I'm bumping. I'm bumping. Leave. 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 Time. Time. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get back. Pop over. Touch fast. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm getting chased. Got the corner. I'm nice, low. Nice. Just him. Just him. I'm low. No boost. Let him. I'm playing safe. Fine. Took back. To, I'm, I'm playing safe. Right. I'm getting chased. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Yeah. 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 Nice. He's yeah. yeah. awkward. Nice. I'm low. I'm zero. I'm I'm zero. I'm zero. I'm zero. I'm I got first. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I'm up. I have it. I'm zero. Nice. Go back. I got to wait. Now. Nice. Go. That's right. SSG reverse swept again. And they continued to dominate on land. That was until some random French team decided to make the best save in RLCS history. Once again, at a glance, it seems impossible that SSG do not score here. But the reality is, Rise reacts and corrects himself so quickly that in real time, it appears he guessed correctly. The improbable happened because Queso once again defied the inevitable. I'll let Sunless teach you more about that one later. With SSG placing third, it was back to the trenches for Arsenal. They wanted to lock in now more than ever. And it was time for the Spring Major in London. For sure. Well, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Space Station Gaming looking to continue land dominance. They took over at the Winter Major. They were able to get top three and now... Going up against KCP here in round number one. Looking to move on to face Team Secret. Let's see exactly if Daniel Reynolds and Arsenal are going to be able to find a way to pop off. Okay, boys. What are we doing? Uh, I'm going to put it back right. I'm, yeah, back right. Yep. He's yeah, low, he's I'm low. Just getting bumped back. Yeah, last. 50. You. He's on, on. Just make sure too, like if we're cutting in, call we're second too, because there's a few times we're like double committing out of defense. Okay? Just make sure we call like that. Alright? Deep breaths, boys. We've been down 0-2 before. We can bring this back. Bring up the energy. Hey, we're good, boys. Don't worry. Yeah, we're fine. Listen, we're playing much better. Hey, boys, shake it off. We got this. These guys are not good. Oh, no, okay, no. Okay. Where do you want it? Where do you want it? Back right? Yes. Yes. Okay, back right. Back right. I'm back right. Hey, hard cheat. Okay. Do not. Do not beat. Beat him fast. Got corner. Good. Nice. Nice. Sit in. Sit in. nice. Good job, nice. boys. Nice. Hey, we're so hard for that goal just to get scored on. Let's go, baby. Nice. Hey, listen. Dude, it's That's only the first series of the lamp, bro. We just got a reverse sweep. The tradition. Not, not a lot of teams nah. do that, baby. The, the bad thing about us is we start slow. So. As the SSG land ritual goes, they started off strong with another reverse sweep. Things went well until they met their fan favorite French team again. With SSG being out of the spring split, that meant it was time to lock in for the World Championship. And at the time, I felt privileged to have the opportunity to watch Arsenal play live. But later, something would change my mind.
We just have to take it one series at a time. That's literally what we have to do. Uh, my expectations going to Worlds is basically just a win at all. I mean, not expecting anything less. do it and they have shut down the sweetheart that's a frustrating loss if you're space station it felt like they really never got to see the fruits of their labor develop and though they do have another series you know the way that that one ends You can't play with Jennifer, it's gotta be you. Sean, let's go get some sun. Sun. When I first got sick, it was after the version one series, we had just won. Like normally after I throw up, my stomach feels better, but this time it was different, like it, it continued to hurt. So I was like, I really don't know what to do. Maybe I should just like wait it out and then tried to wait it out, did not work. Um, had to play against Dig, lost, got swept by Dig. I was like, okay, maybe, maybe just like a two day thing. And I just kept feeling bad. The mental for me specifically, like it was hard for me to even play. Like I, I literally talked to the team about like trying to sub in Jasper, which is our sub. Like it, it, it got really bad to that point. And for me, it was like, I'm more focused on like trying not to puke on my monitor than like actually focus on the game. And Rock League is a very like hyper intensive like focused game, so it was like hard for me, and I wasn't able to play well. And then my teammates were forced to like change up their roles and like pick up the slack for me. So I feel like it, it harmed the team like pretty bad. But it was like nothing I could do. So going into the KCP match two and two, win you're in, lose you're out. We had been dealing with Arsenal's sickness. He had really bad food poisoning for almost a week, so it was tough dealing with that. Good luck. There's a lot to be said. Uh oh. That young man. Uh oh. Uh -oh. He's got a hype of uh -oh. up. Oh no. Uh oh. He's shocked and ready. Like he's feeling all right. Uh oh. He's getting a little bit better, y'all. He's been under the weather the last 24 hours, but now he's back. He took a little medicine, probably. He said it's all on the line. Let's get it popping. Come on. He's, I, I, I love to see the energy from him here because I feel like for a team that expected themselves to go three and O oh yeah. in this event achieves, playing in round five has got to be a tough mental Rock. hurdle to overcome. Rock. Two teams into a series where every pass, shot, save, and boost grab matters. Like, go there, have fun, boys. Have fun. Let's go. Have fun. Let's go. We're going to laugh and ongo like we did last time. Reason one. one. It's reason one. Ah! <laughs> there to help out defensively for the Pioneers, and they're going to weather the storm. It looks like, though, the shot from Arsenal is almost stuck through. Reynolds will follow. All set up by Arsenal diving in. You can see Space Station come alive after that goal. Come on, baby. 32 seconds. Let's go. Come on. I'm here to play, baby. I there you are. Sickness, baby. I I'm back right. about it and wisely got back the final countdown of game one. Space Station hanging on for dear life, and they've done just enough.
enough to take game one. Space Station weather the charge of the Pioneers and start things off here by taking the first game, like you said, Stats, towards the end of it. You could see it from Pioneers, that antsiness, that aggressiveness. They had three people in the SSG box and no one making a play on the ball. Things started to fall apart for the Pioneers, even though it's a one goal game. Why is Dan Redbar? DFA. Uh. I'll call the iconic stadium. Tell me if you're lagging, I'll call it. Trophy in the what background. Just keep Here we freaking. go. Pioneers yeah, gotta freaking. have it mentally. Just stop the tide I here. Do. You gotta think in this series, oh, if you're SSG, you wanna get these types of plays as the time is ticking down. We're looking to try to add one more. They do get the bounce, but ball will hit the ground. Pioneers get their first win in game three of this best for seven. They want to make it to the main event. They still have a ways to go. From the opening kickoff, fresh five on the clock for game five, and we're back underway. Close the space station has been multiple times in this overtime. It bears saying they have lost their last five OT. That's that one, sir. He's got, uh, I got, I got the you, 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 you. I got it. Mid time. Go for a double. I got it. Nice double. 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 <laughs> Almost like speaking it into existence. Arsenal, his one goal in his flu series. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I, I think that was Arsenal's only goal, was the double touch to end the Pioneer series. And I, as soon as he scored, I went up to like go hug him, and he was gone off the stage. He was, he was off to puke. So it was an interesting wild card. Uh, I, I can't say I expected any of it. And then after that, I was taken to the hospital. They gave me, they gave me an IV, and that helped, like, that helped my stomach a lot, like all the IV fluids and stuff like that. I, had, I think I had four different medications, and I had to drink Pedialyte and try liquid IV and stuff. Going into the Moist match, they've been our boogeyman recently. They, they've been the best team in the world leading up to this event. We've lost to them in the last two majors in game seven, two heartbreaking ways. We knew we needed to come out hot to be that team. Good luck, bro. Good luck, Daniel. Good luck, Good luck, bro. Good luck, good luck. in the blue space station in the orange seven games to advance is this the moment where space station gaming finally exercises its drizzly demons or does moist reign supreme once again on land how many times is he gonna get a goal with less than 10 seconds to go in the game rise continues to show he's got that ice in his veins baby space station had won their last six games on neo tokyo that streak ends when this ball touches the ground as Moist Esports once again have SSG's number and now they've got a date with Semper in the upper bracket. And these two teams just continue to battle out of 21. We were hungry for that revenge. At the same time, we were still kind of dealing with Arsenal, still not feeling great. Obviously not, not an excuse, they, they were the better team, but we just didn't come out hot enough and you you got to be on your very best to be that team and we just weren't
empty boxes. We did it. We get matched up with Endpoint, and we're super confident. We had just played them in Gamers 8 in Saudi and demolished them. Dude, look. Rettles is the most incredible playmaker you've ever seen. No matter what you no matter what you think is gonna happen, he's in the back. You just don't see him until it's too late, bro. The Daniel, every time it's in the air, you gotta be afraid. And we cannot forget. RC baby, he's outstanding. He's on top of Alaska! Don't be afraid to call each other off. Be confident, guys. Unbelievably popular around these parts. I mean, it feels like they've turned Dickies Arena into the International Space Station at this point. Home field advantage for Space Station Gaming. It is his chance to carry on through our group stage. But you cannot talk about Endpoint without talking about Archie there. Top yeah, by out. He's on five. Time third. Three, 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 Relating Wave was the most refreshed player, looking like a brand new version of himself. Still gets to really feel comfortable in these LAN environments. Arsenal! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh. Another huge Space Station redirect! Incredible from Arsenal, receiving it from Daniel, turning around in the box and slamming it back behind the defender. Arsenal stepping up when he gets to the stage, when he gets the energy behind him, he just thrives. But with the final 10 seconds now. counting down, it has to go in That's now. It. Once again from Arsenal, the exact touches that he and his teammates needed as they go for these pre jumps. The oh. crowd, they're counting down, ringing out around them. Oh. Gaming make it to the top 12 with a clean sweep against Endpoint. Pull out the bronze. Space Station Gaming is here to play and clean up the competition. It's an all-American showdown for the last ticket to Championship Sunday. Give it up for Version 1 and S. We head over towards Space Station, and that is where the crowd favorite really sits. And now you got Arsenal, oh. Shaka. You hear a roar from the crowd. This young man, he's gone through this whole entire bit, but he's powered through. He's shown that he's world class, and he's made for this state. I mean, yesterday they were not only hitting buckets on the field, they were hitting buckets in front of their PCs. So comfortable, so cool, calm, collected out there. But none more calm than young Daniel, the Laniel himself. Ooh. It might look like he doesn't fit well in that chair, but my goodness, <laughs> you put him on the field. He's bigger than every player out there. Every event, every series, this kid, this young man just gets better and better and better. He grows in confidence. And there just is something in the air about this Space Station team. This is the Cinderella run, perhaps. The trials and tribulations of this team throughout oh. the wild card, they've got here, and they have all the momentum in the world. Unbroken by all of that crowd chanting his name. And somebody who has had a lot of attention drawn towards this him man. is Rettles. He yeah. wants that attention. He is drawing it onto himself. He wants to be the man who changes the fortune for North America in this competition. Understand, this is going to be a battle here. Who's for him either? Space Station, get out, but the train yeah, is going up. I'm back left, waiting. Hi. Nice. Hello. Waiting on Tyson. Nice. Nice, you? I got. He's on the... Over you? me. I'll try and get back. I'm out. You? Oh. Four seconds, boys. Come on. Yep. Bring it back. Four seconds. You got time. There you go. Back right? Yep. Timeout. Take him in left. I got. Yes, yeah, he's up. You? No, no, like, get a timeout, bro. 
Boys, we gotta talk to each other, okay? They just got a freebie game there. Get loud for me, both of you. I need both of you right now. We're like 5-2 and two against this team. We know we're the better team. Just gotta show it. Gotta want, want it. You gotta want it. Guys, like, we gotta step this up. Like, we're playing so slow. Our comms aren't where they need to be. I mean, it was just an ugly start. But into game three we go. First, could be a chance for Space Station. Arsenal one, two, in front of the box, taken away. First, I'll go first. Second okay. corner, I'm third. One left. Yeah, I'm in. I yeah. got. Yeah, I'm not going. Two back left. I'll go middle. Zone. I got. Waiting right. I'm on. Getting chase. Nice. Waiting right side. You. Let's go. Nice. Come on. Arsenal, I need you. I need you loud, Arsenal. We want this. Come on, baby. Let's Come go. on, guys. He's on. Getting the you mid. Mind you. I'll go. In net. I got you. Mid. I got. Uh, bump, 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 bump. Bump a 10, bump a 10, bump a 10. Nice! Nice! Hey, what's up, boys? Come on. Only down a goal. We've got two minutes left to play, but Space Station getting a lot more momentum here. Oh. Scary as Reynolds again threatening the net and can't hold on to it. Yeah. Got corner. Reynolds. You. Play. It's, if it's out, it's, I got it. No boost. Yeah, I got no boost. He's on. I'm third now to good right. I'm on you. Nice. to go for net, hits far post in that situation. We saw him be the lead blocker. We saw Arsenal, or Reynolds rather, get that crazy flipper. He's hit bump goal. This is offense from Space Station that it's gonna require if you're looking for that world championship title. They're playing like they want to win it all. What's up? Good job, boys. Nice. Let's go. Let's get it. This is our series. They look a lot stronger on offense. They cleaned up the defense, and most importantly, they shut down Beast Mode. 0 for 5. Knows that Arsenal is on his trail. That's one baby four straight. He Come on. Tries to get away from him and just couldn't. And that is where Space Station succeeds. Keep the energy high, boys. Keep those cons up. Yep. Confident. Let's do this. Matter. All right, ever boys. Let's do this. Two straight. Yeah. Nobody's gonna be there for version one. Playing it safe. Tom steals the boost. Torment steals the ball. Oh my God! Misses the ball. If you're Space Station, you're taking a big... Nice, you. waiting on Beast. Took mid left, I rush. You. you, I got. I got Sam, I'm on you. Yeah. You. you, need help. I'll be in that, I'll waiting. I got. He's on. Thank you, I'm in that. I'm in that. Yeah. Nice, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna pass you, challenge. I'll try, yeah, challenging. Good. Nice. I'm back, cool. 50. Nice, I'll get back, guys. Up, up, I'm getting mid. Sorry about that. Nice, I got his on. Yeah, I got bumped. I can't. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Yeah, talk to him. He's playing, he's playing. Jump. Yep. Nice. I'm at 60. Low. Okay, I'll rush. You? Low. I got it. He's up, he's up. Houston, we have a problem! Space Station have been drafted! First and one to the playoffs! I remember being backstage and hearing the words, Houston, we have a problem. And I almost cried. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It was heartbreaking. We got so, so close. But we couldn't do it. During that match with version 1, I've never seen Arsenal so quiet. Normally, a loud and rowdy man was struggling to communicate with his teammates. And while the rest of the world was expecting the long-lasting duo of Rettles and Arsenal to continue into the next season, things started happening behind the scenes. The first thing I would like to talk about is uh, why did we kick Rettles? And when he first joined, uh, it, it was kind of a high for us. We just picked up a new player, so we were all excited. The mentality was great. I kind of saw the, the game one way. Rettles kind of saw the game another way. And... Uh, we kind of like butt heads on how he wanted to play, how he wanted to scrim. And at times, Ruddles will come off as like passive aggressive. And I know he didn't mean to do it, you know, but from my point of view, it, it, it would just harm in my mentality. It was at the point where it felt like, like nothing was working and like scrims were just going horribly. We would take our mindset from scrims into tournament and uh, we, we were just all like in a really bad team environment. To quickly sum up the drama, before SSG even lost to version 1, 
Daniel and Arsenal, for some reason, decided that they wanted to kick Rettles. They were caught trash-talking Rettles, and that completely destroyed all of the trust between the members. Um, to make things better, Rettles didn't even find out that he was being kicked until the person who replaced him had to tell him. Arsenal has apologized, and Daniel really didn't say anything. But after that, I completely lost all respect. As a fan, I decided to follow Rettles to his new home, Optic Gaming, and chose to not pay attention to Arsenal. And while my attention was on Rettles, Arsenal and his new SSG roster were ready to go again. They're gonna underestimate us. So they're gonna think, oh, they're not gonna do anything, whatever. So like. Any, anything good that we do is just gonna be it's gonna be like way sweeter. Feel like oh y'all ain't think we was gonna do this, huh? And we just gonna do it. That's, that's just that. This is crazy. Never never would have thought that I'd be filling up an arena with this many people just to watch me play car soccer. Oh, I know you. I know you. Who are these people? Back on the roster now. It's the I'm leaking it. I'm leaking it. This is I'm. Listen, I'm not a content creator anymore for a reason. It's because it's time for me to hit the active duty. Just to so you know. Nah, it was like a hundred. Nah, it was locking boys. Create chaos, play for each other, call everything out, boys. Stay calm and collected. Hold each other accountable. Man, let's go! Let's go, boys. Come on. Come on. Let's go! You got this. Continuing to make the space station bleed at this point. Oh, it's been completely one-sided. But what a performance it has been for the all major champions trying to stay alive here and advance on. Oh, that's all I got. I'm so serious. Our game. Come on, let's, let's go. And Nolly just barely got it away, but Skull there's LJ for his goal of the series. Let's go. go. Isn't that taking it loud? Nah, nice. Let's go, Jay. 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 Let's go, they had a closeout opportunity. They let it slip by. Jin G Mama One Racing puts a bow on it on the goal line. It's just that's just the nature of it, man. Like we're, we're all human. We can't we can't we can't be perfect. We all made mistakes. And it all and it all came and it all came from mental. Honestly, that's that, that, that's my fault. With SSG placing tenth in the Boston Spring Major, Arsenal qualified for the RLCS World Championship in Dusseldorf, Germany. Over thirteen hundred days. said offense sells tickets but defense wins championships and you've seen the defense from rule one over the last two events but space station here at worlds has stuck with them statistically ssg placed sixth in the rlcs world championship which honestly is super impressive my camera keeps shaking that's really annoying but seriously that's really impressive considering they had to compete with the french and things were starting to look up for arsenal until this happened. Hey, what's going on, Arsenal babies? I'm not gonna lie, man. Rocket League is done for. We got 1700s becoming the best players in the game. 
I can't compete, you feel me? So I would like to officially announce my retirement. I lied. Make sure to leave a like, though, subscribe to the video, turn on the post notification on these man, and let's get right into the game. I've known Arsenal for almost as long as I've been casting Rocket League. Seeing Arsenal on the field, I would always say, you know, something, I, I think it kind of got an eye roll from a lot of people, but I would always say, say something like, there's, it's almost like there's a fourth man out there. But it was true. Uh, you know, he just brought a level of excitement and intensity to SSG that not many have brought to any team they've been a part of. And here I got my boy, the man, the man. The legend, SSG Arsenal, baby. I feel Arsenal brought the energy. When you think of SSG, Rocket League, you think of Arsenal, you think of like on land when he's going crazy, getting hype, you know? Good vibes, energy, all that. Version one has lost oh, two that leads, and this is oh. from Great pass, nice shot, good game. I believe that Arsenal brought an energy, a creativity, a hunger to be great and passion that not many people in esports bring energetic he's charismatic he wants everybody to be entertained but he also wants to be the best i love a man who wears his heart on his sleeve and arsenal is exactly that that man just embodies passion Everyone knows the pregame cam going off, jamming to music. He's bouncing up and down. He's bouncing up and down during the game. Soon until that case close. I always want to make sure like my teammates are having a good time. I'm having a good time. Like I, I know at the end of the day, it's more than just Rocket League. Anything negative that happens, it hits you way harder than if you're just thinking, oh, let's just enjoy each other's presence. Let's just play as a team. Let's just have fun. Because when those bad things happen, it's easier to bounce back when you're already in that positive mentality, when you're always moving forward. You got to see the journey of him literally growing up in front of everyone, but still staying true to himself. And that level of passion uh, and life is something that is very rare, especially in esports. When it comes to like playing Rocket League or just like anything, like my mentality is just to like go with the flow and like everything happens for a reason. Arsenal, man. <laughs> God scared. God, God scared. This ain't soccer. Any fan who got the merch on and I see you, you a, you a RC baby in my heart. So I rock with y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Arsenal is just so, so in it for the fans. The fans love him. He's always walking around, making sure the fans can see him, making sure that the fans get autographs and stuff because I mean, pros don't have to do that. And we cannot forget RC baby, he's outstanding. He's on the The fans mean everything. They're the reason why I do what I do. The game of Rock League means the world to me. I can never think any of the people that support me or even the game in general psionics i can never thank them enough for what they've done for me give it to t-shock and get out of his way he threads the needle forces it through drills one this is what midfield arsenal pre-jumped in and he scored it no way they connect on this beautiful play by ssg then oh my gosh Arsenal, are you kidding me? Over oh, Arsenal, wow. Arsenal with a wow. disgusting redirect. Arsenal, another one to the corner. Look oh, at the placement, gosh. it's pixel perfect. Here he is again, trying to make it work. He's gonna go through, he just walked into Dinka, tosses in, and he puts it away. The game is so easy when you're that good. We don't want to put too much pressure on ourselves. We're just like, go out there, have fun, keep the vibes up. Whatever happens, happens. My boy Arsenal, I wish you the best of luck in the future, my boy. I know you're far from done. Keep being awesome, and best of luck in the next chapter. Arsenal, to whatever's next, I'm sure you'll kill it. I want to wish you the best of luck in whatever you do on your next endeavor, your next journey, brother. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, you'll continue to bring that energy, that life, and that love to everybody you come across. Although our relationship will probably never be the same, I do have to acknowledge that Arsenal has done so much for RLCS and Arsenal has done so much for me. I don't think this channel would be the same if it weren't for the impact that Arsenal and the early SSG roster had on it. Um, 
I've had the opportunity to watch Arsenal have seven different RLCS LAN appearances, win the RLCS X North American Fall Major, have two different regional wins, play second in RLCS X North America, play second in RLCS Season 9 North America, go to three regional grand finals, plays top four at RLCS Season 8, and top three at the RLCS 2021 to 2022 winter major and i still have his signed poster and pro controller after the announcement of him leaving ssg i realized that this was the end of the ssg era that brought me into rocket league i wish him the best in wherever he goes next <coughs> dignitas and i want to thank him for everything that he has done my name is Space Elvis. Thanks for watching. Waiting for you! <laughs> I'm around for dancing! <laughs>